Hey, what is up you guys? This is Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. Today we're coming to you with another video and we're gonna be focusing on some electrical components today, specifically with wiring. I've had a lot of questions lately about wiring and different ways to connect two wires together to get the best connection with the lowest resistance. What the question is most of the time is, will terminal connectors or crimp connectors work? Would it be better if I just twisted the wires around and and then put some tape over them? Should I go with a single solder over the wire or solder both separately and, and put them together? We're gonna put all of these methods to the test today. We're gonna do a double solder, single solder. We're just gonna do an old fashioned twist with tape and then we're gonna do a uh, crimp connector and we're gonna see which method works the best and gives us the best connection with the lowest resistance. Twist and tape method is about as simple as it comes. This is not a method that I suggest. All right, next we're gonna take our wires and we're gonna use some crimp connectors here that connect together like so. Go ahead and crimp these on our two separate wires. All right, so as you can see here, we have the terminal connectors attached and we're gonna leave this unwrapped just like we left the previous one unwrapped just for video demonstration purposes. So now we're gonna move on to the single solder method which is where we're gonna take two wires, push them together twist them around and we're going to put a single solder on there with some uh, Ross and Core solder. What we would go ahead and do now is if this wasn't a demonstration video we'd go ahead and shrink wrap this. Let's go ahead and do a double, a double solder joint. Go ahead and solder each wire individually then solder them together. The double solder joint. we're going to do is we're going to pull out our voltmeter and we're going to test our resistance between all four of these different connections that we made. We're going to see which one wins the battle. What we have here is the wire that's kind of undone slightly and if you wiggle it around you get about, eh, you, you do get a little resistance there. We'll test the butted connectors. So here we got 0.0. .0. kind of wiggle them around and you did see there for a slight second we did have a little resistance and that may have been because the wires pulled. All right, so the next one we're going to test is going to be the single uh, the single pass with the soldering iron and we're going to put this together and no matter how I wiggle it we're not seeing any resistance whatsoever. This is gonna be the double pass where we soldered both ends separately. There we go. No matter how I wiggle it, it does not come off 0.0. .0. So this is a good connection as well. All right, so what does all of this tell us, you guys? Well, we're gonna go from last place to first place and we're gonna show you what that tells us. So our ohms readings, the higher they were, the worse it is, you don't want resistance. So what came in last place was this guy where we just kind of spun the wires around. This is gonna offer a lot of resistance once it gets loose, which is what we saw, last place. Never use that method. Next method is gonna be these crimp connectors. Though they work in a pinch, um, over time, vibration, connectors can pull apart, you have an open. Also, the wires themselves can come out of the crimp here and you have an open again in both situations. There is no true first and second place. Um, both of these are gonna tie. We saw no resistance in either one. Double pass and the single pass solder joint. Um, so either one, it's, it's really personal preference to you. I've used both before and I will continue to use both. I don't only stick with one, I, I do change it up a little bit. What we're gonna bit. go ahead and do next, just for fun, is we're gonna do a wire pull test and see if we can't destroy some of these connections. Take our hand turned wire and it doesn't take much to pull that out and show you why that's a terrible method to use. Easy it is. That didn't take much force at all. All right, next we're gonna show you the solder joint. I'm pulling really hard. Yep. I'm just tearing insulation off until I get to the wire. 
as you can see, that connection is not gonna break. And lastly, we've got our double pass in the vise. <clears throat> I ripped wire straight clean out before the connection broke. All right guys, we've gone ahead and showed you a couple of the different connectors and the methods in which we wire our cars here at DOI Auto Tech. As you can see, there are some methods that you definitely wanna use and some you really wanna stay away from. Um, please make sure to like this video, share it, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. As always, we'll see you next time.